Miami for a stretch there was dead in the water. And then it's Gabe Vincent. It's Kevin Love for three. Uh, it's the same guys that have been stepping up throughout the playoffs. They get them back, and it's a six-point game. Um, third quarter, again, more Jokic scoring, all of that. Um, but really, what kind of set, what kind of stood out for me in this game was the start of the fourth, where Denver goes into the start of the fourth with a lead, and Duncan Robinson scores 10 points in two minutes. Gets him right back into the game. And up until that point, and Jimmy was out there, up until that point, Jimmy was primarily a facilitator. You know, all of his drives, he's just looking to probe, looking to pass. And you kind of felt like, all right, if Miami can get this thing close and keep it close, Jimmy's going to take over down the stretch. And, and sure enough, that's what he did. But it wouldn't have happened without that Duncan Robinson run. And there were two things that stood out to me in that run. Number one, Twice on the same play, which is just delay action, uh, Duncan curled to the middle. Gabe Vincent went to set the screen. Duncan came out of the left curl corner. He curled to the middle. The first time, they tried to switch, but Christian Brown just kept chasing Duncan, He got, and Gabe Vincent got a three. The second time, Christian Brown trailed Duncan. They didn't switch. Duncan gets a layup. I want to say this. At the end of my career, when everybody was running delay, we had a very simple rule. If there's a pin down on delay action and the big has the ball up up top and the guy getting the screen curls towards the basket, automatic switch. Automatic switch. And there were multiple coaches that taught that. I, I don't think in that scenario where it's Gabe Vincent and D Duncan Robinson, you're not creating a mismatch if you switch. That should have been the switch. Michael Malone... We'll watch that in film, and he'll tell them that should have been a switch. That's a principle in delay in guarding delay action. You have to switch that twice, back-to-back. -back. That's five points right there. KCP, two fouls on threes, one on Vincent, one on Lowry. That's six points. Some of it was just the Miami Heat execution, and some of it, Denver made some mistakes. Denver made some mistakes. I thought Miami played phenomenal basketball, and I thought Denver played Really good basketball. But some crucial mistakes, like I talked about. Jimmy taking over down the stretch. Uh, and then, the, you know, the one guy for me, and, and we just had him on the podcast, love him to death, thought he's been fantastic in his role throughout these playoffs, is Michael Porter Jr. Double-double in game one, didn't shoot the ball well, thought he was really good defensively. He struggled tonight. He didn't have a great game. One for six. He's now three for 17 from three for the series. Feels like for Denver to win this series and and really separate themselves a little bit, he's going to have to shoot the ball better. And I would go out on a limb here in the same way that Max Struess won the play-in game against Chicago Bulls with having a big shooting night. Michael Porter Jr., he's capable of having a big shooting night and 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 helping the Nuggets essentially win a game just off his shooting alone. I think he's that good. Um, Late game, just real quick. Um, oh, I, the second thing that stood out during that stretch with Duncan Robinson, they called timeout twice. First time, 85-83, Duncan hits the Hezzy three over Jeff Green. They call timeout, come out of his zone, they turn the ball over. Uh, or I'm sorry, they come out of his zone, Jamal Murray has to take a tough shot, shot clock violation. Next time, Miami's now winning, call a timeout, they come out in the zone, Jokic has the offensive foul on Gabe Vincent. Then they just go basically exclusively zone down the stretch. And like I've been saying, and like Duncan kind of co-signed, it's a shape-shifting zone. At times tonight, it was a straight 1-3-1. One, one. They were so preoccupied with keeping the ball out of the middle with Jokic, they just put somebody there. Then there's times where it looks a little bit more like a traditional 2-3. Then there's times it looks more a little bit like a 3-2. And they just rotate and scram out of everything. Um, I just, man, I love that basketball game. I love what the Miami Heat did.